Hello collectors, I'm Logan and welcome back to Sister Location VR. Still doing the custom night challenges. We're gonna go right into Doll's Attack. So hopefully this shouldn't be that hard because it's just like there's only two characters that can kill me, which is Bonnet and the Biddy Bab, so to keep my eyes up here. Mm, I don't doubt it. Okay, there she is. She crawling towards me. Oh, I fell. Ah, what the fuck? Shock you, shock you. Ah, get out of here. Okay, um, a little bit crazy. Honestly, do I even need that? Get out of here. Because I can see. Get out of here. I can see when Bitty Bab is coming up. Maybe. I don't know, can I? Do I want to do I, do I find out? Yeah, I can. She's a crawling up. <laughs> uh, power. Die. Uh, get out of here. And funk. And my main, my main concern is the power. That's what's gonna kill me. So I gotta get the fuck out of here. Uh, not doing too hot. I won't lie. God, God, I just grabbed you by accident. Gone. I'm at 50% power at 3 a.m. Not looking too hot. You should become a competitive sport to throw mini arenas as far as you can. You make that, a, make that a challenge. A good distance of throwing a mini arena. I think I'll set a record. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, come back, come back. Die. Fuck off. Poke you. Get out of here. Okay, got you. That's fine. Talk you. Oh, I did it. Yippee. Okay, got another... Cutscene. Let's see how Michael's looking now. I am getting a little bit green. <laughs> yeah, that guy's still happy for me though, and that guy. Y'all suck. <laughs> oh come on, guys! It's not that bad. It's just, it's just my new tan. I look great. See, Steven gets it. Thank you, Steven. All y'all are assholes. Go back to the challenge. That was Dolls Attack. Now we have Girls Night. So we have, uh, oh my, f what? Oh, that's weird. My finger goes under the, uh, the main arenas. Okay. This one shouldn't be that bad. So let's go with it. My main concern is just Foxy. I'm not way too worried about Bonnet. So I just need to keep an eye out up here. And we should be good. Oh no, I forgot about you. Dang it. Oh, I saw I saw Ballora there for a second. I saw her for <laughs> right there on that corner. Oh no, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on, I don't know who's calling, but I'm gaming. Oh, I opened the door at exactly the wrong time. <laughs> okay, camera's open. Die. Okay, so Ballora's coming here from the, the right. I'm not sure how long it takes for her. Oh my gosh. My game just lagged so horribly. I'm surprised I got that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Feeling good. Get you out of here. Oxygen's going down. Like Foxy's coming out. Open. Okay. 40%, 4 a.m. Could be better. But I think we'll be okay. Got you. I think Blur's also on that side. I'm gonna keep it close for now. Ah. Freaking out. You're out of here. Could I do 1020? That is the question. Honestly, I could probably keep, I could probably keep that door closed the entire time and I'd be fine. But I'm not a pussy. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, that one's done. That one got that one got me a little bit. Um, bitty babs are hard to keep track of. All right, next Michael Afton cutscene. How are we looking? Oh man, I am pretty. Yeah, and now everyone's kind of like, 
Hey. Hey, just got a new haircut. Trying some new contact lenses. You know, my tan's kicking in pretty well. All right, so that was girls' night. Now we have the weirdos. Um, so only, yeah, only two of these characters can, only, only two of these characters can kill me, uh, which is Yendo and Bonnet. Yeah, I think you are the oxygen. Yeah, I think, yeah, you're the oxygen. Yeah, shock power for you. So this will probably be one of the easier ones. Let's go for it. Okay, then. So, um, oh. Oh, I, I, what? I hit. I hit the ball. <laughs> Can't pull that shit on me. I hit them. So, Yen, Yendo is on a, a firm 20, so I just don't have to look at it. What the fuck? L O L. L O L. I swiped it like three fucking times. Also, last night I had this really good idea for. A lot of you may not know this, but I'm doing a sort of FNAF What If series, like how Marvel does their What Ifs. Um. And the salvage that I'm making is a what if every FNAF character existed at the same time, uh, which is a pretty, pretty broad one. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to get a little bit more like specific. So like um, last night I was thinking of what if, because not all with not all what ifs can lead into a game. So some of them like I have a I have a journal of what if ideas. Um, and I was thinking about what if Fazbear's Fright never burned down, and I'm going to talk about this because I'm probably going to turn it into a game because it sounds like it'd be fun, um, but it would be like FNAF 3, but like better. <laughs> so like, um, so like the, fa the, fa the place didn't burn down, so they, so like the place became super popular, they got loads of money, and they expanded the place. And I imagine that the place is like, is more of like a pizzeria instead of just like a lot of hallways. Like I want it to have like, I want it to be a labyrinth of course, but I want it to have like pizzeria like theming to it because it's fine to Freddy's, we're all on a pizza place. It'd be cool if it was, you know, a pizza place. Oh no. Yendo fucked me. Yeah, Yendo, Bonnet going over there with Yendo is horrible. I'll try again. Anyway, as I was saying, um, so like I I want to improve basically on everything that FNAF three um, wasn't able to do, or like not wasn't able to do, but more just like what people wanted from FNAF three. Uh, um, so like for example, I wanted I want more characters that can kill you, and I was thinking of what characters timeline wise would make sense. So like, you know, none of the classics because they're all dead, none of the toys are all dead, none of the wizards of course, that wouldn't make any sense. Um so I'm just like, maybe maybe like Ennard? Or like or would by that point Ennard be Scrap Baby? Uh and Molten Freddy. Um so I I, I, I was just trying to think about that for a while. Uh also what for whatever reason the first thought that came to my mind was fetch the dog from the Fazbear's Fright book. I thought that'd be, um, I'm not sure why, I thought that'd be kind of cool to have one of the book characters actually make an appearance in one of the games. And I feel like Fetch would actually hit the mark pretty well. Um, so like, I was trying to think of a roster of characters, and I think I have my ideas down for what I want. Which is, I want a, um, oh, get you, get you. I want a, um... Like, I want characters that can kill you, but I, so I think the roster that I have is Springtrap, of course. Uh, I think I might make him Dark Springtrap because he's, like, getting old and decaying and becoming Dark Springtrap. So, a way to include him as a character, I guess. Um, my next thought was, um, fuck you. My next thought was, um, yeah, Fetch, who would probably, like, try to destroy a lot of the systems. Um, get you. um, my next thought was having the puppet, but not have that horrible winding box mechanic because I hate it. Um, so I'll probably have him as something else, her or something else. Uh, and 
I would also include Lefty, because I feel like Henry would have made Lefty by that point. Um, maybe I'll include Salvage, the old hoax character, because I feel like that would be kind of cool. I'm not sure how I would include him, but I feel like I have. I, I feel like I'd be able to figure it out. But like, yeah, I, I have a whole lot of ideas for that one, and I'm super. I, I do want to make that one because it sounds really cool. I'm also just a huge fan of of what ifs in general. Um, like, I'm a huge fan of the Marvel what ifs. I'm a huge fan of Masako X's Dragon Ball what ifs. Um. Because it's just cool to see how a, a timeline could have differed if a different event had happened. So yeah, Fast First Fright never burned down. They would have gotten a lot of money, expanded the place. You know, phone dude is like, yo, dude, we got a lot of crazy stuff, man. But yeah, I, I, wanna, I don't know what, what I would call it yet. I'm still trying to think of a name. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe maybe a lot of people won't see this and they'll just kind of, it'll be a surprise for everybody. But I think it'd be, I think it's like it's a cool idea. Because I, I kind of want to make that. I want to I wanna make a game and actually finish it. Because I keep making a bunch of games that just never, like, or like, don't have an ending. Or it can go on forever. Like, I want to finally, so, like, select a few characters, put them in the what if, you know, going on in there. Yeah, also, Lefty would be uh, probably Withered, like a Withered Lefty. Like a Withered Lefty, Dark, uh, dark Spring Trap. Um, who else? I, I'm still debating whether or not it should be entered or if it should be Molten Freddy and Scrap Baby. Like, by, the, by what point are they... Have they become Scrap and, like, you know, Molten? Um... A part of me kind of doesn't want to, just because I kind of want to deal with like the, the the retro FNAF characters being like one, two, and three, and like a little, of course, like a little bit of the books, because Fetch kind of fits that little retro theme. Um, but I, I really want to make it after I, you know, fully fix the salvaged. Because as I'm recording this, it's um, it is out, but it's like. Uh, there's still some issues that I want to fix with it. Dude, your hitbox is absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah, so in this game, like, no fun times, because that wouldn't make sense. Um, so yeah, I just want to... Like, it would be a smaller game, not, like, super huge, but, of course, because of me, there's still going to be collectibles. And, like, unlockables, achievements, custom night, actually add a custom night. Uh, probably more phantoms. <laughs> that might get a little bit irritating. Uh, but I feel like, I feel like that'd be fun. Go, cool, did it. Yippee! Alright. That was that. Uh, that was still a little bit crazy, but again, one of the easier ones. Alright. Cutscenes after number six. Oh boy. Look how handsome I am. <laughs> <laughs> I got people hiding behind the buildings. Okay, look, I know what you're thinking, but this, uh, you guys gotta try this. This is the beautiful tan I got going on. Challenges. <laughs> so that was the weirdos. Then we have Top Shelf, which will be not too bad. Fun Night Fridays are gonna be the main concern. I also have Bottom Shelf, which will be super easy, actually. I think, yeah, there's one character that can kill me. We have the, the cupcake challenge, which is kind of fucky. Uh, I will take nothing on my face or you know our biddies. Uh, everyone's kind of at 10. Then we have Golden Freddy. Uh, yeah, not gonna do that one. So I think we'll do top shelf as the final one for this episode. Okay. Let's do it. Where are you at? On the right. Okay, blow on my left, close that, close that, boop, good, and then open that, oh, there's Yendo, we're good, you scared me Yendo, so, as I was talking about earlier, about making, wanting to make that, uh, that, uh, what if, Pastor Fries never burned down game, what other what ifs, could be like a pretty good game. Wish I can commentate more. There's not too much to talk about when things are going on around here. I just gotta, 
going to learn to improv it. Left. What was that? Blower's there. I didn't see her. I probably would have died there. If, uh, if I didn't pray to warn me, I probably would have died. I just have to slam it. Thumbs up. Hey. Yeah! Alright, cool. That's top shelf done. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Here we go. We got our final Michael Afton cutscene. Oh boy. Da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, everyone's kind of afraid of me now. Oh boy. Here, aren't you just something else there, buddy? Oh no, Michael. Michael, no. Michael. Oh, mom, I fool up. All right. Well, that's it. We got top shelf, then we got bottom shelf, the cupcake challenge, and then Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy I'm going to be doing, going from easy, medium, hard, very hard. Because I don't know if I can do that one <laughs> first try. I'll sure try it though, but whatever. Anyway, bottom shelf uh, should be pretty easy. BD Babs only one here can actually kill me. A little bit will be a little bit of an issue. Electro, whatever. Cool, let's go. Okay. So let's go here. Yeah, so I'll be able to see her coming, so I'm not too worried about her. Like, I actually, while I was in school, I had a whole uh, journal of what ifs uh, for for like they could be potentially FNAF games. Um, a lot of them consisted of like what if blank never closed down or like stayed open. Um, like, I had other thoughts where, what if Henry and William were, like, both serial killers? Um, I don't know if I could make a huge game out of that, though. Probably be kind of, I don't think it'd be much. Uh, like, maybe a Fred Bears game because of, like, they're both killers. I fucked up on that. Yeah, off me. Um, so, like, Fred traps, spring traps, stuff like that. Um... I mean, not every what if has to become a game. It could also be something else, or like a, I don't know. I don't know. But like, I wanna, I wanna make like a, a what if series for FNAF. I think it would just be cool. Yeah, but last night I just thought of the uh, the what if fast for fights for burn down. I because I feel like I can make a, a pretty good game out of that. Another idea I had as well is uh, what if Mangle was more popular, uh, and. I actually, I've had this idea since I was a little in, like when FNAF 3 first came out. And it was like, um, it was a pizzeria where you could make your own, like kids made their own animatronics. Um, and then those creations would come after you. So it would just kind of be like randomly generated nights of like random characters. I don't know how I'd be able to do that, but like I would love to do it. I feel like I could come up with something for that as well um also uh there actually is one that i have kind of actually started developing a little bit which is uh what if michael went to hell instead of william uh and it's a, it's the endless uh tycoon mode so like michael's hell is the endless tycoon and william's hell is surviving <laughs> ultimate custom night which i thought was a good parallel but also i, I wanted to make a a really good fnaf tycoon game because FNAF Tycoon design your own nightmare pretty cool idea in my head and I really want to do it but man making a tycoon game is ass <laughs> is hard but yeah like I, I, I really want to I do want to make that fan game though what if Fazbear's fright never burned down oh shoot I did not see her <laughs> thank you <laughs> like, Yep. Cool. Did it. So yeah, we, we can't unlock any more Michael Apton cutscenes. So that's it. Until, of course, uh, 1020, which I don't know if I want to do that one. All right. Yeah, I got nothing there. So that was that was the bottom shelf. Now we just have Cupcake Challenge and Golden Freddy. So everyone here is at 10 besides uh, Biddy's, Mini Arena 2, and Yendo. So this is like the precursor to uh, 1020. So this is going to be hard. <laughs> well, hello again. 
Okay. I actually gotta focus up for this one, so no talking. Ah, yep. I somehow knew if my Foxy was going to run, and I chose not to close the door. That one's on me. Thank you, God. What? I shocked you. Okay, so Fun Night Freddy's occupying a space. Electro Bab will go elsewhere. I'm not doing too well. Gotta be kidding me. Joking. Okay, did it. Second try, not bad. Whew. Man, that was, that was intense. Okay. All right. Golden Freddy. <laughs> this is the last challenge we got. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. We're just going to hop right into it. Fuck it. What's the worst that can happen? Well, Open the wrong door. I forgot about you. Oh, God. Whew, how am I going to do this? What is the strategy? Bro. Bro, what the fuck? There's got to be an easier way to do those. Oh my gosh, Bonnet. Ho! Oh. Nope. <laughs> nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's fucked. I think you would. Alright. Well, whatever. We're going to go ahead and call it here for right now. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy Location VR. Um, I do want to beat this mode because I feel like it's going to be a, a tough one. But I want to submit my name right in there. I want to be one of the people who actually beat this mode in VR. So we'll call it there for right now. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, collectors.